Hello everyone, I am the Lonely Hunter and uh, we are back in the year 2025, we are back to the future, we are playing some Black Ops 2. I went back to Black Ops 2 just to play some solo matches because uh, I don't really play solo in Black Ops 2, I tend to play with uh, one or two friends of mine. I usually play the older Call of Duties with uh, a few friends just to have some more fun because um, old Call of Duties are not about the grind, are not about uh, leveling up and uh, are not about getting the beastly solo gameplays. But I decided to go back and play some solo matches just to get uh, the connection advantage because uh, I don't have the best connection out there and uh, it's better for me to play solo and uh, this is a perfect showcase of that. This is the perfect situation because uh, there are some people who live uh, nearby, there are some people who are from uh, nearby countries, so I believe that uh, I had a pretty good connection this game and uh, a friend of mine that uh, we used to play some uh, Black Ops 2 together asked me what would it be like if I played on a 4 bar because uh, whenever I play with uh, my friends, my friends are usually from uh, the US, from uh, Canada and from those countries and uh, I am from Greece so I don't have the best connection possible, I don't have the best ping and uh, I usually have um, 2 bars or 1 bar in games and uh, this tends to be a little bit frustrating at times because um, I am really behind, I don't get my shots on target and I have to shoot ahead of my targets. So to that question, to what would it be like to play on a better connection on a 4 bar or uh, to have the best experience possible, well this is the answer, this is the answer right here, having to play on a lobby like that and um, I don't really play alone on uh, older Call of Duty's because I also want to evaluate Call of Duty titles when they get old. I also want to evaluate the connection quality because uh, under a lot of pressure, under a lot of lag, under those uh, two bar connections and uh, one bar connections, this is where you stress the netcode, this is where you can see where the Call of Duty title stands and uh, this is where you can see how you can play, how well you can play under those circumstances because uh, in MW2 you had that movement lag, MW2 was horrible on a bad connection I should say because uh, you had that movement lag that pushed you behind the wall, you were going behind walls when you were about to enter a gunfight and this was pretty annoying also you had uh, a lot of other things, a lot of other issues, problems with uh, reloading, problems with input lag, all of a sudden you were pressing the button and uh, nothing was happening. Now I am pretty positive that uh, the netcode is improving and uh, I really enjoy that, I really like that in uh, future Call of Duty and uh, I have seen major progress. Well uh, Modern Warfare 3 is a bit primitive uh, in that aspect because Modern Warfare 3 seems to have the same netcode, I still get those uh, movement lag spikes when I play MW3 and uh, it's still inconsistent but uh, with uh, Black Ops 2 and uh, the holy moly of uh, lag compensation that uh, pretty much broke the game for some people and uh, annoyed many others yeah I believe that uh, Black Ops 2 was a step in the right direction after all because um, the network was solid uh, even if stressed enough, even if uh, it was uh, something like a 2 bar or a 1 bar connection because uh, you get those uh, matchmakings that are not really the best, you get the matchmaking that uh, is not really region based because uh, it's almost like uh, what they say, yeah it's a bit gimmicky, it's uh, the gimmick behind the skill, it's uh, the true skill matchmaking well, I don't believe that uh, this is implemented well in this game because uh, you will see a lot of beasting happening, a lot of beasting and feasting and uh, obviously it's not true skill matchmaking, but uh, it's not totally regional, you will not find people from your own region and uh, the fact that multiplayer is playable at that point even if uh, you don't play against uh, people who are always near you, well in this lobby it happened, they were near me, I had a really good connection, but uh, in other lobbies what happens to other lobbies. So I believe that uh, it's a really positive thing that uh, it still stays well, it still plays well 
and uh, with ghosts it is really hard to tell because uh, the time to kill is so so low i mean you can you can shoot people with three bullets and kill them so you have uh, a really easy time in your gun fights and um, it's not really that great to try and stress your connection at that point it's kind of uh, an mw3 type of feeling well uh, the network is really great of course and the speed that you get is really fast but uh, anyway you still don't get that feel that uh, the gunfight is broken down in several parts and uh, you don't distinguish it when you are under lag when you have a really bad connection so i want to see what advanced warfare has to bring to the table here because um, i will still do that i will try to evaluate the game i will try to play at first solo and then when it gets old i'm gonna hop on in the us and in the canadian lobbies to try and see where my connection stands and where the net code signs if it signs if it is bad or if it is not so i'll see you guys later thanks for checking out the vid i am out peace